Hi everyone, it's Phil from jailbreakitouch.com. Today we're going to show you how to clearly jailbreak your iTouch. Jailbreakitouch.com is a site we started up in the middle of January that was strictly dedicated to jailbreaking your iTouch. Uh, we've had a lot of success with people signing up, um, have successfully jailbroken their iTouch, and we decided that we would create a video to go along with it. So what I advise you to do at the beginning is just go to jailbreakitouch.com, sign up as a member, and go to the member section. You'll have all the instructions are there. Along with those instructions are the links to download the, the firmwares and everything else that you need. So to start off, what you're going to need here is you're going to need uh, the firmware 111, 112, the jailbreak files, and make sure you have Wi-Fi access because we're going to have to access the access the web once we uh, once we bring it down to 111. Make sure that your iTouch is connected to your computer the whole time. The other thing that's important too is that you make sure you set your iTouch to auto lock never. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your settings, go to general, and click on auto lock, and you'll see that it is set to never. That just makes sure it doesn't lock while we're while we're doing our work. The other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check the firmware that you're running. Now, if you're running 111, you can just skip to step four. If you're running 112, then we need to bring it back down to 111. Uh, it can only be jailbroken if you're sitting at 111. So you click on settings, click on general, click on about and you will see that I am running version 112. So that means from there we need to uh, jailbreak it down to 111. This is a quick note. This is a jailbroken eye touch you're looking at right now. As you can see I have a different theme on here, uh, different pages. I'm also running all the iPhone apps. I have the mail, the maps, the notes, the stocks, and the weather. And that can comes with it after you, after you jailbreak it. So that's it. So let's get to the instructions and let's start jailbreaking. Okay, so one of the things you're going to need to do is uh, now we need to downgrade to 111. As you can see right now, I'm running version 112. You can do the restore, um, which I would highly suggest doing. If you haven't jailbroken it, you can just do update to 111, but I just I suggest doing a restore to 111. This allows you to um, bring it back to factory settings. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your shift key or the alt key if you're a Mac. Click on restore. Grab the firmware 111, which you would have downloaded from jailbreakitouch.com. Select that and press open. What it's going to start to do is going to show the extraction of the, the software. We'll just let that run. As I said, I'm going to let this run for the whole time. Uh, reason being is you can see everything step by step. Uh, there will be a, a window in window with the video, as you can see with the eye touch showing what's going on. Uh, I can just show you of it being on. Uh, there it is right there. As you see now, it's doing stuff with the eye touch, and it's restoring it back to 
All right, so you can see now that it's being restored, the iTouch is being rebooted, and saying the iPod has been restored to factory settings and it is restarting. It will appear in your iTunes source list after it restarts. So all you need to do is hit OK. Uh, you can see the iTouch is doing its thing on the side. Yeah, it's rebooting itself and it should bring it back to the charging screen, showing that it's done and it will show up again within the iTunes list in a couple moments. So what we want to do here is you want to go set up as a new iPod, click continue, just uncheck automatically sync songs to my, my iPod, just you can select that later, it just makes things the process faster so it's, not, so it's not syncing while we're doing this. Click on done, the iTouch starts up, and now you will see that we're running software version 111, you go to the iTouch itself, you click on settings, click on general and about and you'll see that also it is running firmware 111. So that's it for now, what we'll do is in a moment, we'll, uh, we'll bring it up to, now we'll just jailbreak it, and then we'll bring it to 112. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do here is jailbreak the iTouch. Okay, so what we're going to do is make sure your Wi-Fi connection is ready to go. After that's done, you also want to make sure your settings are back to never. So you click on general, auto lock never. So that's set up. Okay, so what you want to do now is go to your Safari, go to jailbreakme.com, uh, as you can see here, um, where it says jailbreakme.com, uh, jailbreak scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see where it says App Snap. So what you want to do is you want to click the App Snap, and it shows you that it's downloading. Okay, so once that's done, if you go in, you'll see now that there is the installer. So what we have to do now is we have to install OK to Prep and uh, an SSH. So what we do for that is we click on the installer. It's going to refresh some sources. It's going to say, do you want to download, donate now or donate later? Make sure you guys uh, donate. These guys did a lot of work for this. You want to click on Install. Head to Tweaks 1.1, OK to Prep, click Install, and then click Install. Click OK. Anytime you install an application, it will always go back to the Categories page. Click back Home, and then we're done. So essentially what you have right now is you have a full-blown jailbroken iTouch. Um, if you don't want to go any further with this, what you can do is you can go to the installer. You can install the summer board, like I've shown you at the beginning, that can give you the, give you the themes. If you, want to, if you want to stay at 111, what you can do is you can go to...